the first Secretary General made an appeal to all the nation members that they would donate a work of art to the newly built uh, headquarters here in New York. Brazil chose Portinari and gave him a list of themes and among these themes was War and Peace. That was the theme of his whole life, uh, the main theme of his life. I think his inspiration was the pain, the pain of humanity, of violence, of conflict, of suffering, you know. Uh, this is the deep soul inspiration, but the literary inspiration. For the war, it was the Bible, especially Apocalypse. And for the peace, he uh, was inspired by the Eumenides of Aeschylus, which were um, the mythical figures that uh, in the beginning they were the furious, and then they were forgiven and they became doers of good, you know. Portinari spent uh, four years to, to paint the, the panels, and then they were shipped to the, to the United Nations. September of uh, 1957, they were inaugurated. Portinari was not here because it was uh, the Cold War, and Portinari was a person with political ideas more to the left, so he couldn't get the visa to, to come to the United States, and the panels were inaugurated without his presence. And in fact, he died without ever seeing them in the United Nations. He made it in, in a way that when the delegates enter the General Assembly room, they are faced with war, the war panel. And when they come out, they see peace. This could be true in, in reality, you know. A painting uh, so dramatic as the, the murals are in peace, I think you would have to be completely insensitive not to, to answer to, the, to their call, you know. They're calling for justice, they're calling for peace, they're calling for love.